All right. Hey, everyone. We are here with Eric Hurst. He is the director of Millersville University's Weather Information Center, meteorologist specializing in Lancaster County weather forecasting. So mm -hmm. as you can see behind us, we have some white flakes falling. So a lot to talk about today, Eric. Um, to start, can you just describe the storm and then we'll go through a timeline in more details? Right. Yeah, well, it's a good old-fashioned, uh, by tonight, a good old-fashioned nor'easter uh, developing off the coast. Uh, it's a complex storm. There's two parts to it. We're in the midst of part one right now. There'll be a bit of a lull this evening, and then part two moves in late tonight and tomorrow. So uh, we're going to get some snowfall from both storms uh, when it's all said and done across Lancaster County, probably six to ten inches when you add the two storms up. Maybe some high spots get a foot or more. Um, Thankfully, we have the March sunshine helping us out, which is as strong today as it is in the September equinox. And so uh, it's having a tough time sticking to the roads, at least in the towns and the valleys. But um, some of the higher terrain roads, like I imagine down around the Buck and some of the other high roads around the county, probably are getting slippery this afternoon. But then tonight we lose the sun and uh, travel will, will get uh, worse, not better, uh, as we head through the overnight. So uh, we have another 24 hours plus uh, to deal with the second part of that storm tomorrow. And um, uh, this is a rare event. You know, I tweeted out yesterday that our biggest storm post equinox uh, in Lancaster City was six and a half inches. So we may challenge or break that record. That'll be something to watch the next few days. Uh, again, we keep snowfall records here at Millersville, Lancaster City, the urban area. Certainly there have been uh, post equinox storms of greater snowfall in the high terrain of Lancaster County uh, this late in the season. But down in the city, it's tough. It's tough to get a lot of snow this late in the season, but uh, we're gonna try to do it uh, here in the next 24 hours. Yeah, snow lovers can be excited about what is possibly to come. What was the date when that record was set for the post-equinox yeah, storm? Yeah, it, it was back when I was about one month old in March of uh, 1964. Uh, that, was a, that was a snowy winter, and um, uh, maybe that's why I'm a meteorologist, I don't know. But in any case, um, you know, uh, we get snow in March. It's just when you get a big one in March, it tends to be in the first 15 or 17 days, not in the last 10 days. And of course, spring just officially arrived. Uh, the equinox occurred at 12.15 p.m. So just, what, uh, half an hour ago. We are now officially in spring, and look what we have outside. We have a spring snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, the flakes are definitely coming down. So uh, talk us through what to ex um, what we can expect tonight yeah. and into tomorrow. You bet. So um, it, it is a complex storm and it's going to be of varying intensity. There might be times where it stops snowing outside and there will be other times where it's snowing heavily. That will be the nature of the storm the next 24 hours. So far this morning, the first band of snow, it moved uh, north of the Mason-Dixon line mid-morning. Um, if there's anybody watching from the southern third of York County or the southern third of Lancaster County, it snowed really hard for a couple of hours and some spots already picked up two, three inches of snow. That steadier snow has now moved up into the Route 30 corridor, York City over to Lancaster City. I see it snowing behind you right now. Not really sticking to the roads in the city and, and it won't the next few hours, but as the sun angle goes down, the roads will become more problematic. Something else to watch for is sleet. Now, yesterday I was really bullish on the idea of there being a fair amount of sleet mixed in this afternoon into this evening. So far, there has not been any. So that's one reason we've gotten uh, more snow so far than I expected. Um, I think this afternoon, probably across the county, anywhere from one to four inches of snow will accumulate. Again, that's kind of a grass measurement or a deck measurement. Um, official snowfall records, we take uh, measurements on a snowboard or a deck or a table, not on the grass and not on the roads. Um, so that's how we try to control and get the measurements right. So across the county, uh, this first part, one to four inches, and, uh, and then a bit of a lull. And then I think there could be another three to six, maybe even four to eight with part two of the storm. Still some uncertainty on that one, but uh, when it's all said and done, I guess the the aggregate of the two events, six to 10 inches, like I said, maybe some high spots come in at 12 plus. Uh, high spots I'm thinking like in 
the hills of Southern Lancaster County, maybe Welsh Mountain, uh, maybe the Furnace Hills. Although one thing about this storm is the farther north you go, you're moving into drier air. And so there's gonna be a pretty sharp gradient uh, from south to north across the county. So this is a storm where from the city south may do a little better in terms of a storm total than from the city north. And so those are some of those fine details that uh, we're still not sure about, but so far things have lined up just right for a snow lover's a spring dream. Um, or maybe for some of us, a bit of a nightmare if we're preferring 60 degree weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a spring dream or a spring nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what kind of temperatures will we be seeing the rest of today, overnight and tomorrow? Right. Well, right now, places that are seeing snow, uh, temperatures are in the upper 20s. Uh, in the northern part of the county where the snow hasn't quite arrived, or at least it hasn't ramped up yet, temperatures are still in the low 30s. But when steady snow is falling, we're going to be in the upper 20s this afternoon. Uh, if there is a lull this evening, temperatures could actually climb a couple of a degrees, but then as the part two kind of ramps up late tonight uh, and the snow picks back up, I think we drop right back into the upper 20s late tonight and tomorrow. Um, and so under the cover of darkness late tonight, uh, it will accumulate readily on the roads. Um, and I would expect a lot of delays, if not cancellations tomorrow morning, um, assuming that part two doesn't go out to sea last minute or something crazy like that. But I don't anticipate that. I anticipate um, another round of snow heavy at times late tonight into tomorrow. Yeah, we already have some schools in Lancaster County that called early dismissals Yeah, that's, today. that's good, especially across the south where it, it snowed quite a bit. And uh, so uh, it's it'd be interesting to ask those school administrators, you know, when's the last time they had a, a closure this late in the season? Um, maybe never. I, I don't know. Um, but tomorrow could be one of those days that uh, they might have to consider that. You know, tomorrow when we get the sun back up, again, the, the sun, even on a cloudy day, the, the sun strength is the same as a cloudy day in September. So you can imagine how strong it is here post equinox. But, um, uh, but still, if it snows hard enough, and I think it will tomorrow morning, it'll be accumulating, though maybe the roads are improving late in the day uh, as that kind of that sun comes into play. And also as the storm exits, uh, during the afternoon, the snow should gradually taper off and be done by tomorrow night. Um, and uh, though there'll be a refreeze tomorrow night. So we're talking about a, a period here where there could be some uh, treacherous travel uh, right into Thursday morning with that refreeze uh, behind the storm. Okay, so overnight tonight into tomorrow afternoon, can you give any hour benchmarks? Right, well, uh, round one, I mean, the best of this first part is really uh, right now through maybe 6 p.m. So you're gonna see those snow bands. If you watch the radar closely, you'll see these east-west bands. And when one of them goes over you, you'll snow heavily. When one of those passes and you're in between bands, it'll let up. Um, and so we'll see a few rounds of that throughout the afternoon hours. Again, I'm kind of thinking there'll be a lull maybe as the first system plays out and we wait for that second, that coastal low to really gather itself uh, overnight. Um, but then, so I'm kind of thinking after midnight maybe is when that next uh, round of snow ramps up um, and so that it's a real snowy start to the day tomorrow and then things wind down in the afternoon and um, uh, again, a very sharp northern edge. So that's one thing I'm going to be watching this afternoon and tonight is, uh, especially with that second storm, is where does that northern edge set up? I would expect quite a gradient um, from central PA down to, say, the, the Maryland border. And Lancaster is going to be right in the thick of things with that gradient. Um, and so, uh, but again, if we measure more than six and a half inches here in uh, Millersville, Lancaster City area, this will become the largest uh spring snowstorm on record. So that'll be a fun to watch the next 24 hours. Yeah, it will be. And just to give context for that, if two inches do fall this evening and then we get the a four and a half tomorrow, that would still count as breaking right. the record? Yeah, yeah we total, we, we keep snow totals by day, uh, 24 hour days, midnight to midnight, but we also keep uh, um, storm total measurements because a lot of storms span over the course of two or in rare cases, even three days. Um, and so uh, it'll go into the record books, both as how much snow fell 
on uh, the 20th and the 21st, but also a storm total for this event. And that's what we'll be comparing to is that total. Uh, do we exceed six and a half? If you live in a hill around Lancaster County, I find it hard to believe that you won't exceed six and a half. You may get double that. But again, if you're at 300 feet above sea level in Lancaster City or in that immediate kind of urban area, it's a little more difficult. And climatology, just the fact that in 91 years of snowfall records in Lancaster, we haven't had more than that uh, six and a half value this late in the season. So it, that is kind of evidence that it's hard to do. But hey, there's always a first time. That's that's the exciting thing about the weather business, right? Yeah, <laughs> it is. And just to explain for people driving today, if someone has evening plans, should they hold back, stay at home? What do you think the roads will be like the rest of today? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the prudent thing is to cancel any evening plans. I mean, currently here we have the, the midday sunshine. Uh, the roads, as I see in the city behind you, are wet. They're just wet here in Millersville. But I'll tell you, I bet if you drive up uh, uh, onto uh, like around the Buck in Southern Lancaster County up in the hill, I would bet the, the roads are snow covered just because you're at elevation up there. Um, and, uh, uh, and then once we lose the sun, then then anybody can accumulate snow and uh, untreated roads, bridges, overpasses, especially could ice up tonight. Now, you know, PennDOT's out there, the municipalities are out there doing their thing. They do a terrific job. They're, they're salting and cindering and later tonight, I'm sure they'll be plowing if needed. And, um, uh, but if it snows hard enough, you can't keep up with it. And so that's kind of what we'll be watching later tonight is do we get one of those heavy snow bands over us right around daybreak tomorrow that's possible so it could be a real snowy start to your wednesday mm -hmm. yeah snowy start to wednesday snowy start to spring so happy yeah. first day of spring everyone yeah. anything else eric that uh, would be good for lancaster county residents to know um well again this first part it's playing out if you're in northern lancaster county you're saying what's the big deal not a lot has happened so far if you're in the southern half of the county you've already had an inch or two or three um everybody's gonna see some snow this afternoon um and then uh, perhaps even heavier snow late tonight and tomorrow so um you know sit back enjoy it perhaps a piece of weather history for us here in lancaster when it's all said and done so. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to give us an update on the forecast. I know you're very busy today, Eric, so I appreciate you taking the time. And anyone can follow Eric on Twitter. His handle is at MUWeather, and he's always updating the forecast there. So that's a great resource. We'll yeah, I don't sleep too much when the weather's like this. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> I try to keep it real and try to give things kind of a scientific treatment. Uh, I'm certainly not perfect and you know, nobody is in the weather business, but I try to uh, dial things for Lancaster the best I can. And when I see changes and things occurring, I'll usually tweet it out. So if you're someone that follows the weather or if you're a decision maker that uh, you know have to make decisions related to the weather, um, add the uh, MU, uh, Twitter uh, at MU weather to your, to your following and uh, it'll hopefully give you some useful information, so. Yeah, definitely. And you can also use the hashtag Lancaster Snow. And um, we use that at Lancaster Online to follow pictures and updates on what is happening around Lancaster County. We'll be updating uh, the forecast using Eric's information and all of the resources that are available to you as well online at Lancaster Online. Uh, I'm Lindsay Bless. I'm a reporter with Lancaster Online. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. Enjoy the storm. You too. Bye. Bye.